Alright, press the record button and start a new game! So yeah, I thought send bug reports, sure, why not? We will take up the mantle of the rogue trader! I've actually got this as my uh, desktop background. Um, although I wish it was higher resolution. Um, anyway. Difficulty... Ooh. I am familiar, so I think I'll do daring. I might regret this. Uh, I might have jumped further than I should have myself, so I've got unfair right off the bat. Damn. Yeah, I, I'm just going to be... I would dip my toes into difficulty. I'll go daring. Um... Not familiar. I am familiar. I mean, it was a while ago, but I'm familiar. Uh, Alright, so you could start as obviously a, a re, a, someone, a, a pre selected character, but obviously we're going to create a custom character. And what do we want to look like? I mean, I had a vague idea of doing someone sort of like. Eisenhorn's long lost brother or something. Um, I mean, he's a psycho, but it's not like a that level of a psycho. Hmm. Some really nice portraits. I think I chose this last time. I mean, I think the first one I chose Mustachio, of course. And then I think I chose him. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to go full Psyker. They were pretty good. And I think if you pick that portrait, it picks you kind of that stuff, so... Oh, so I don't think... Yeah, it's not going to change your portrait, is it? You're going to change your hair after you had the portrait done. I suppose. Oh, we're repping the Goa Uld, a uh, Jafar warrior. And obviously, a lot of it's covered by the hair. Visible. I think there was one of them that I saw. Maybe that one. My augmentation two, so you can have another one. Yeah, you can see that. All that. That's the same as the other one, isn't it? It's on the side. Can't see that. Any roses, you're right. Yeah, that could be alright, another augmentation. I'll bring glory to my bloodline. I am but a vessel for the higher purpose. Success is the only outcome I accept. Let chaos paint the stars red. Time for a round of space regicide! Hmm. Lance batteries! Volley! And pragmatic's probably pretty good. Next! Death World. Hmm. 
I kind of don't really know what even my character's going to be yet. I mean, like I say, it wants to be sort of psycho adjacent, but... Yeah. I guess it's like, what are your features? Imperial World can select any characteristic except weapon skill and ballistic skill and add a plus 10 bonus. <laughs> yeah, stronger together, except Xenos. Yeah, I'm going to go for Imperial World Origin. Uh, and then, what do I want? Willpower. I think willpower is probably good for psychic stuff. Abilities to withstand. To control. Increase the resisting negative effects. Okay, so it's not like with intelligence to do with psychic powers then? Acumen. No. Yeah, I'll say willpower. Astra Militarum. Sanctum Psyker. Well, obviously, I can't have. Uh... Inquisition on here. But I can sort of say that I've been kicked out of the Inquisition. Somewhat. Let's be a sanction psycho. Might regret it. And then what type of diviner? Go for all the fire. All oh, stuff that's like buffing. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a telepath. I might regret it, because obviously Pyromancer sounds more fun. Uh, Triumph, Apex of Brilliance, Law Xenos, Persuasion, Coercion. I mean, if I'm going to be like a telepath, Coercion could be good. That's a uh, nice little thing to add on there. Uh, a darkest hour. A sorcery caused a warp manifestation, claiming thousands of lives. That sounds like a horrific uh, darkest hour. Let's go for that. Sounds very psychery to me. Don't know why I'm still sanctioned, but there you go. Right, an archetype. Because who's one of the first tier archetypes at this moment. Officer's probably better. Operative could be good. Intelligence of Perception, Willpower, Fellowship. I think Willpower is what I've obviously been buffing up, so... Officer's probably better. Okay. So I've got 30 points. Apparently, Sanction, Psyche, Origin, Advancement, Willpower, yeah, oh, Human Knight's Finest, I've got quite a lot of Willpower. But I also needed to buff Fellowship, didn't I? <clears throat> what I need for is Psyche. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, I probably want to buff ballistic and weapon skill at a base level anyway. Agility, intelligence. Intelligence is probably going to be obviously very good for. What is it? Yeah, my perception is pretty bad. Something like that then. Sword class frigate. Invictum Erabus. Unforgiven. That could probably be a good one. Bomb Valentius flagship. I mean, it's obviously um, going for the Space Wolf flagship, which I should know off by heart, and I am ashamed to say I'm going to have to look it up. Because I think it's got a weird name. The Heracle Kill or something. Her Heraphnical. Yep. I, I almost had it. I didn't even... Yeah. Can I copy and paste? There you go. I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, but that's the name of the ship. And then... Yeah. Like I said, I was like kind of pretending to be Eisenhorn's long lost brother. I don't know if I can like make up a name that could be interesting there. I could roll a random one, I suppose. Marn. You can add a skill to train up a stat later. 45 strength need for heavy and power armor. Yeah, but I'm kind of being a a squishy psyker, aren't I? Hmm. Eisen Lawn. It's not Eisenhorn, it's Eisen Lawn. There you go. Complete. Here we go. See, everyone in the Eisenhorn family is named Eisen something. It's just... It's just the truth. Press any key. Pressing it. Here we go. Voice acting now, have we? No particular reason for disturbing me. My apologies. I did not seek you out to pester you with unwanted attention. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitvir, Master of Whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. My name is Eisenlorn, and so to avoid any misunderstanding, I am a sanctioned psyker. I am aware of that fact. It would have been unacceptable negligence to have overlooked such a detail when compiling your profile. Fate bestowed upon you powers of witchcraft, and a duty to use them for the good of the Imperium. Yours is truly an unenviable lot. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you. 
or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. Lord Captain, a strange title for the Lady Theodora. Such are the traditions of the Imperium. Lord Captain is the title that was established in the annals of the Lex Imperialis. At the time when the first rogue traders entered the Gold Emperor's service. And therefore, it is sacrosanct. They say I'm one of the rogue traders heirs, so there's another candidate. There is. And you will meet him soon enough. I assume you have some goal in mind when you decide to seek me out. Let us address it. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Indeed, let us join us there. Let us not dawdle. I just told you not to tell me. Yeah. Do 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 do. I'm a psycho. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. It's no follow yet. Okay. I'll just keep clicking wildly. So I'll let him open the door. It's rude. And anyway, I'm an heir Still of the Von Valentius. Okay, I've got to open it myself then. God damn it. You know about Tab. One of the Does that highlight things trophies. to pick up? Perhaps you Ooh, would like to take around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Or interact with you. yeah. I had probably forgotten that that I knew it was a thing. Uh oh. Run! The servitors have gone berserk! Bonk. <laughs> yeah, just stand still. Not get to cover or anything. Been ambushed! That much sweeter. <sighs> Yeah, I can't do anything because I've been ambushed. Oh! Oh dear. They're dead. So I've got a regular pistol, psychic shriek, voice of command. Tab on F5, F8. Yeah. I didn't move, did I? I forgot that you have to move, then shoot. Oh, you missed. Oh, well, someone else is dying. Oh, ho, ho. I'll save you, crew officer. Suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. 
talk to Theodora. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. Yeah, I'm gonna loot all the bodies though. Don't mind me. If there's any bodies. I always have a backup plan. No, I can't loot any bodies. Lame. I could obviously have a look at all Keep the your juicy things. You. Tarantula sentry gun, constructed with a blessing of the Depths of Mechanicus using a standard template construct in the Manufactorums of Cuba Gamma. Let us not dawdle. A violet alloy, which upon closer examination turns out to be a handcrafted object, symbol to carve the primitive tool, are visible on the surface. Black shard resembling obsidian. If you look closer, you can discern a strange, barely perceptible glow inside the artifact. I mean, obviously, we know what that is. It's a the uh, battle tank in the rust. Massive golden amalgam into space, dispersed with sparkling particles. A stone on the pedestal is no doubt solid, but its surface shimmers and changes hue as if someone has captured a piece of turbulent sea within the rock. Strange object of the sea coral. The porous surface is pitted, a sign that has been underwater. And a grey green crystal with white veins, a low hum can be heard coming from the artifact. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Boop. Open the door. Where are we supposed to go again? Tech priest. I always keep my options open. Crew officer. Patch is closed. Is there money to be made? Okay, that's also going to be locked as well. I could be over there by the big door. Oh, okay. I'm here. That is simply irrational, Lady Theodora, says the man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension, his face, half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation in the trace structure would be political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. A tall, grey-haired woman pins him with her gaze, a cybernetic eye flashing crimson, then suggests an alternative that will satisfy me. I've described the situation, no worse than my essential how could I've done. Make a decision, what will you do, Aeon 6? Do with Aeon 6, Edelthread. Listen in silence. Why are you considering your answer, Edelthread? I wish to speak with someone else. Perhaps I shall hear something more interesting than incoherent mumbling. Approach. What is this? Edelthrad turns to you in discharge with indignation. Is this someone from your retinue, Theodora? Do you permit your people to interrupt your conversations in such a fashion? I give that permission to those with something of substance to say. Let's see if it was worth it. Theodora tilts her head, her lips stretch into a cold smile. This is Eisenlorn, the second candidate for title of my successor. The rogue traitor regards you with a look as imperious, predatory and oppressive. Step forward, Eisenlorn. Because in this hypothetical situation, Aeon 6, a new world on the fringes of the Coronas Expanse, high seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large-scale mining, the world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flocks of fancy, you might say, but attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crew sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? The spirits could be well known as his name for dangerous aliens. There are ways to confirm whether what's happening is witchcraft or not. I might cost several psychers to do so, but it will give us an answer. 
thorough but presumptuous. It took me a great deal to find one psyker who could serve me well for many years, yet you speak of several. Sanctus psychers are rare and invaluable instruments of the Golden Throne. Or do you Eisenlons just so use heretics who are an offence to the God Emperor's light? He would be rather careless of you to utter such profanity in the presence of his faithful servants. Huh. We're both servants of God Emperor and Lady Thora doesn't come anyone else's status to engage in petty feuds. I gave a straight answer to a simple question which I understand was more than you could do. Insolent, ignorant, upstart, how dare you! Edelthrad, I believe I gave you an assignment on the ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that why I forgot the time. Bye. So, Eisenlorn, why are you here? There are questions I wish to have answered. You are direct, I approve, but you will have to wait. There's something I want you to understand first. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Scarus. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity, and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by the most sacred relic, the Warrant of Trade, kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honour to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where the powers of wicked and heretical reign and bode death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whether I find paths the bounds of explored. Void, every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches and mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you, Eisenborn, Ah, uh, one of those of the Von Valencia's blood in their veins and rightful claims this inheritance when the hour comes. I'm ready to take on the sacred purpose. Oh yes, you would be, wouldn't you? The question is, I'm, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have doubts that you're suitable for the role of Rogue Trader. Oh, my feelings. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honour of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful, if not for the role of Lord Captain, but then for the most of their closest ally. Theodora sighs and looks away pensively for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Conrad Voigtvier served me for many years before he made his mistake. Did I hear you correctly? The Master of Whispers is related to you. His kinship to me is most distant, as is yours. Nonetheless, he does bear the name Von Valentius, even if he avoids using it publicly, and as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is close to him. Voigtvier's performance in his current role is satisfactory, or it used to be, at least. One of, does mean there are other heirs? Naturally, some yet have to arrive aboard, but have had the pleasure of meeting one of them, Edelthrad may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. If you are satisfied with that, Alfred, then what sense is there in having this conversation? Why are you wasting your time on me? Impatience. I am rather fond of impatient people. They are not as quick to resign themselves to circumstances and more eager to sow initiative. Even if I do choose that Alfred as my successor, I will still require loyal advisors. The skills and knowledge you acquired in your former life may prove invaluable here in the Coronas Expanse. It says in your profile that you bear the brand of sorcery, albeit sanctioned sorcery that is permitted in the present in service of the Imperium. I am accustomed to the presence of psychers at my side. More than that, I value their unique abilities highly. Perhaps that is why I am so intrigued by Ethelred's candidacy. A rogue trader psyker could achieve great things indeed. However, psychers are fragile creatures, and as such as I would rather have a replacement standing and ready in the event that something happens. I'm also a psyker. Moreover, your courage has made you far more famous than you yourself probably realise. Chief freaks of heroism will forever live on in the annals of the Imperium and bring honour to the Von Valencius line. Thank you for clarifying. May I ask questions now? I have some time before I navigate. It gives a signal to initiate the void ship's translation out of the warp and my presence required in the bridge. The incident took place in the officer's deck. Some servers went berserk and attacked the crew. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomats were careless during their maintenance. 
or it could be warp plane twits on us, despite the Gellerfield. Or perhaps there is something all the stories that the ship is being possessed after all. The grey-haired officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious disapproval. Lady Theodora, for the God Emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumours spread about by uneducated riffraff? Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Idira eagerly retells me everything she learned from the whispers of her routine advisors. She turns to you. The ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and you use compartments to make ignorant folk speak of spectres dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. Where is your ship headed? The Ricard system, the domain of the rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Only three rogue traders exist in the Cronus Expanse, and each of them possess the resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day exist House von Valencia since passing both of them in affluence and splendour. I set the course for Ricard on the demand. For a very specific reason, perhaps I shall yet appraise you of the purpose of this voyage, but now is not the time. What my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in your new position. Eventually, I will find a post that suits you as I did for Edelthread. When that time comes, consider yourself my aid. Gracious Lord Captain, show there are ways I can prove myself as a worthy heir. You can start by not asking questions of this sort. I have no need for sycophants. I will draw my conclusions when the opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you will be granted the opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to Theodora's Vox Awakens once more. This time you pick up shouting. Lord Captain freezes listening to the Vox cast, then nods and draws her weapon. Disturbance is reported on the adjacent decks. Senator Shell, if the need arises, protect the new blood. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Your arrogance oh will be your downfall. I must again. The hero has got 229 health. Uh, set the battle. One fewer Nice. Oh, I dodged. What's up, kitty? The dust. Come on. I've got heretics to kill. Yeah. Here you go. You're happy now. Right, so obviously I'm not much of a uh, fighter, I've only got a gun. A regular old pistol. Obviously, that's a, that's friendly, isn't it? Why I'm looking at them. Ah, you get on my PC. It's gonna be one of those days, is it? Oh, yeah. Stay here. You'll be reet. Right. Forget. I need to move first. Or well, if I want to move. Probably take some cover. Taking calculated risk is in my second nature. And dodged. His voice of command on Avalard. Nope, can't do that. Let's go for the Emperor! Doris turn. Whoa! Plasma shot. One fewer target. <laughs> Abelard's just clearing. Oh. Whoa. The character's produced a temporary positive effect from an ally. Yeah. Come on, there's room on my lap, kitty. 
Pretty much my lap. I guess she's not too interested. Right. Oh, I psychic streaked. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Where's Abelard gone? I won't stand for it. One action point. I do have action point. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Yeah. Maybe because we're already voice of command from Theodora, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Or is it bad? Oh, he's a beast, yeah. Well, with Melter Gun, he just goes, oh, you're dead. Just oh. a minor setback. Dodge that. And you're dead. And then charge into another one. No, okay. Careful. Oh. That was incredibly rude. Don't let your guard down. Shooting you through cover. That's a great place to be in it. Well. He's as good as done. Yep. I'm the best. Go well, here, Dora. Nice. I'm just here for, I took care of this one. for the good times. I don't think I did a damn thing. Theodora waves her hand in a commanding gesture. Mort, take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse on survive. Rogue Trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst on the deck. Hmm, not bad. I've seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. False sense of security offered by their position makes them much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. She looks at the fox in her hand. All you hear is life is static. What are your orders? Mart has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the Arch Militant requires aid and be quick about it. Right. I always have a backup I think it was the same in this way. Okay, it's fine. You. Conrad, uh, thank Providence you're alive and well. Always on time, eh, Conrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always oh, just have the fighting's done. You can set your chrono by it. Mort, pull yourself together. What did the Lord come to send you to shivy us along? We're all done here. I'll port right away. Can I borrow your melter gun? Master of Wishness, what's happening on my ship? The box net is silent. The box master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. This is a severe case of warp madness. Hassel and my crew lost minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve. Report. I have not received word on the Ingenarium regarding any Gellerfield failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox scatters from the lower bays are one way heretical gab gibberish. The madmen have already reached the officers' decks, just that it's outrageous planned in advance. Maybe we have to organise mutiny. Mutiny against the Imprisoned Anointed to execute the traitors, every last one of them. Yeah, mutiny who didn't have mutiny here in the warp. Lunatics, fools, heretics. The ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Finish's thoughts on warp induced delusions could have tainted any one of them. Difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. I have the means to do both things at once. 
Idle Thread, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A Psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a great effect on themselves and others than a holy army of midmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing I know about his movements, so he arrived on traditional deck 18. Blast it. Master Whippers find Idle Thread immediately. Essential look at Blast and the Sister of Battle. Both had to main at my side. Arch Militant with me. I must go to my study, and if it appears, we might encounter heretics on the way, eyes on lawn. If I may, traditional deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Ethelred back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at comforting the enemies of the house as esteemed Arch Militant, and taking into consideration Ethelred's psycho powers. They set on the lawn, find other thread, and bring him here in whatever state you find him. This elevator, these are six compartments, such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. Require both. Do you understand? Should everything in my power. Not everything in your power, but you'll do as you say. I have your heads if you fail. If that's clear, then move out. Well, come! I don't know what the right answer there is. It doesn't really like you very much. There we go. Are you ready to head to 18? It's a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. I shall make do. Lead the way. Of course you will. We we'll just pocket for something. Lady Theodore will never have something right on someone's ears, but it's not like relevant. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen, and you are consumed by unbearable gut-wrenching pain. Woo! I got stabbed. I promise you a special destiny, eyes and lawn. It's time to fulfil it. Da da da! Betrayed. Ow. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the Warring Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warrant of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. Well, we'll see about that. And thanks, Darker, for the Prime sub. I do not know why my alerts have stopped working. Um, yeah, but thank you very much. I'll try to use my psychic powers. Close your eyes, try to focus, and then you feel the touch of something sharp. But fear somehow sends a shift in the warp into the preemptive strike. The blade flashes in dim light and drops your blood appear on your palm. For a brief moment, you feel nauseous. Your head is spinning, and then quiet whispers flood your mind. More and more sourceless voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with a single urge: Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Oh, welcome. How's Rogue Trader so far? It's good, yeah. It's kind of stuff that was in the uh, beta that we played, so... But it's still good. Just hoping to get a bit further on. Get out! I am not your puppet! Voice in your head giggle and mock your desperate outcry. You feel this intruding influence forcing you onto your feet and making you a step towards the gates looming in the centre of the chamber. I'm being possessed! 
In the gateway arch, you see a cogitator with a human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton created from a lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns its head to you, one of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember-like irises. Examine the device. You carefully inspect the design of the gate cogitator. What immediately catches your eye is a strange alloy that was used as material for the machine's components, some of which are unfamiliar to you. I suspect this might be some kind of archaeotech relic. Servitor on the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward, closer to you. Its lower jaw opens with a drawn-out shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The servitor's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in the dim light. The vid screen to the right of you lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on a green background. A whisper runs through your consciousness, insisting demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head after Voigtvier wounded you with blade did not go away. On the contrary, their size curled itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Look for anything to be used as a weapon. You look around in the hope of finding something at least to look at work as a weapon. Your search is in vain. The chamber anteroom is completely empty in perfect work condition. An area broken panel or producing piece of rebar in sight. Well, I think we're going to have to put my hand in. Sentinel fangs clamping around your hand, punching your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few jack drops fall into the server's throat and immediately you hear coming as the server motors start up and the pumps stir into motion. The vid screen of the cogitator flickers. Several long minutes pass. The Sentinel's jaw remain closed and you begin to feel sick. Perhaps if you were leaning against the gate, you could catch your breath. Maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this ever hurt. High levels of caustic humours. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You don't understand where this quiet voice is coming from, crackling like static. Is it the sentinel? The cogitator? Is it a figment of your weary mind? Whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Yes, yes, I do require assistance. Pain shoots through your head and subsides just as quickly. It's in the entity coiled in your consciousness and not the ability to do any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Help me! The warrant of trade. Let it be known that by my will and those true words of this document, I point this person to be the bearer of the warrant of trade. Oh god, to be a paragon of humanity and work by adversary to walk bravely first in the darkness. To it's too quick! I can't read it! Uh okay. Well you just have to look at it yourself. Escort the child of the house to safety. I need a weapon, I'm mostly defenseless. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. I need to contact someone, preferably Theodora. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. Voxmaster, a sole communication with the navigator's sanctum. I am trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, regroup all available forces and head. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. What madness is happening here? Who are you? Who addresses me? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warrant Sentinel standing by. Are you the Warrant Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warrant Sentinel, designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Lead me away from here. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units, calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Cool. 
Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Seal the warrant chamber. Are you coming out, Box Skull? I don't want to seal you in. Or do I? Master! What? Well, whatever are you doing in the warrant chamber? How did you... Throne, preserve me! What is the meaning of this? Conrad Voigtveer is a traitor. When we parted ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. What? He intended to take revenge on Theodora for something and trying to reach the warrant as somehow part of the plan. Oh, holy God, Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Voigtveer openly admitted that he is a mastermind behind the mutiny. Saints blood! And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. Just like all small ring bodies. To the between decks we having a chat? Attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive and now safe, Master. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Oh, I got a sword. Or fire to your character can lose some of their wounds. So obviously it wants me to use the medikit. And obviously Avalar's part of the party now, but I am also going to have to equip my weapons. And I obviously need to equip that to Avalard because I can't have it. Use Avalar to medkit me. Let's patch you. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared staff. for the trials ahead. Apparently not. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So. Apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. I heard one of Theodora's vox casts. Lady Theodora's. Which one? The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. For the Imperium and humanity, lead the way, Seneschal. Cut. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor, fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home, and with all your might, destroy those who are dead. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward. Onward. Heretics. The Emperor is with us. Are you ready to die? Haha. <laughs> 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 nice try, heretic.
tried and tested Shipping tactics are the best ones. Reduce the dust. Oh, I parried. I'll be able to charge out of that. I will do my duty. <laughs> right. So I've got a stub pistol and I could do a pistol burst. Or I could swap to the sword and do some slice slice. I don't think my psychic shout is like it doesn't even seem that good. It like does one to eight damage. I'm gonna go slice and slice. Who, if not me? Dead. On it. Voice of command. Haha, <laughs> you hit your friend. Follow my lead. Cleave again. Dead. Indeed. No, it didn't work. Oh well. I mean, there's a possible that psychic shriek just I'll kills you. No. Ha! <laughs> 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 no damage. Got hit that time. At your back and back, took care of this one. Did. I will do my duty. There you go, charge. Ooh. Almost dead. And then I can probably finish. Don't get a one. Don't get a one. I'll see. Oh, and you're dead. And we level up. So, one rank available. Choose skill. Carouse athletics. Go for athletics. Summary complete. And then I have officer, so persuasion commerce. Thumbs up is just recommended. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, yeah, probably is a good idea to recommend it because I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I mean, commerce is already pretty good. Persuasion's probably. A law of the warp. I'll go for persuasion. Just a fortune. Is that the only one that added any loot? Oh, it's the loot for the whole. I forgot. Yep. Is a last pistol better than a stub revolver? Has less armor penetration? Nah, not really. 